Hey guys, welcome. So I'm going to show you a walkthrough tutorial on how to finish insane mode on on demand using only flag. But before that, let's check out flag's information first, his sets of skills, so we would know how to use him on a solo mission. All right, so Flak is not a very straightforward hero as you think he is. He is actually a strategic one, a um, hit and run type of hero. Because if you check his set of skills, the first four skills are there to um, compensate his final skill, which is Bounty Hunter. It says here you need to claim more energy per kill each time uh, you eliminate an enemy. So that means you get double um, energy per kill uh, and with that you you can build your towers faster and you can upgrade them quicker so his first skill is just to toughen him up a little bit just so he doesn't die that easily the second and the fourth skill um, are basically the same they're just there to give an extra damage to flak but not too much damage um, it's also there to help you steal some kills when once you see enemies health runs low and basically your third skill there is just a signal for you that once flag starts to turn red and he starts uh, to move quicker it's actually a signal for you to fall back because flag is about to die so you need to go back and regenerate your health because the goal for flag is to keep him alive as long as possible so we can generate as much energy as possible so in that sense even though flak is the weakest hero sometimes he outperforms the other stronger heroes in the long run by compensating in terms of building more towers okay so now that's finished well, let's go back to our mission all right so on the man in same mode and for this mission we're going to use laser damage and laser fire rate also this map is a bit small and it's also too crowded if you use laser range mod this is actually quite beneficial because it helps you it helps your lasers that are from far away reach the uh, early point uh, of the map sooner okay so let's start so we won't be using any support items for this mission all right, so first off from the game, I am going to show you an assist in the game, just in case you're struggling, say if you don't have any um, high level heroes yet, or you don't have any high level mods yet. So this is a trick that you can use um, to help you a bit. This is actually a bug, so what I'm doing is I'm using airborne and I'm upgrading them to have mines. So once they plant six mines in the ground, which is the maximum maximum number, I sell the tower and I get the energy back a hundred percent. And then I can do this over and over again until I'm satisfied of the number of um, mines I've planted on the ground, like so. Then you can just keep going. So it's unlimited. The only trick to this one is you have to make sure you do this before starting wave one. Because once you you've started the wave, you won't get your money back or I mean your energy back 100%. It only gives you a portion back. And the reason why I'm using the, the left side is because it is, is preparation for the Armites. So the Armites are basically enemies that are immune to lasers. Alright, that's enough of that. Um, so you need, they, they will ignore your lasers, they will just keep going. Um, so this is our tower placement at the start of the game. We will upgrade this to quad beams later. But uh, back to the Armites though. So they are only vulnerable to rockets. 
and two machine guns. So they will start coming out in wave two and there's a swarm of them so you need to prepare for them. So we will need to put rockets here. I used to put MGs here but the problem with MGs is it, it, it only hits a single target un until you uh, reach the uh, shotgun upgrade but with the uh, rockets they already deal um, strong damage even at level one and they do splash damage. So we will need that because this is the area where the menders will crowd up and the menders heals any creeps uh, near its um, healing aura it's almost instantaneously and you could barely damage any creeps near them so you would need a splash damage same with the lasers you need a quad beam so you won't have to target the menders individually so it will make your um, game easy if you use towers with area damage right so the uh, back to the Armites, they will come from here, they will move here and they will go to the left side. So we need to put MGs here to stop them and because they are very quick we need infantry to stop them here. And we will need another set of infantry here because there are too many of them. So these guys will stop them uh, temporarily while the MG will make short work of them, we will upgrade this to a shotgun eventually so that's a strategy for wave 2 in wave 3 we will still get armites the same side even more but that's uh, just the first threat you will get the second threat which are the toughest creeps in the game the uh, tri vampires they are um, shielded and they have the highest damage as well so the tri vampires will um, will enter from here and then they will move they will proceed to the right side until here so in this area where the, the menders are crowded the tribe vampires are also almost um, immune to damage because they are healed instantaneously so it's pointless to put a low level laser here early we will have to save our money by placing a laser in this end right here because once the armites reach this corner, they, they will start to separate with the menders. So the lasers here, specifically this one, we upgrade this to quad beam as soon as we can. This, this will eliminate the tri vampire, hopefully. I used to put um, infantry here, but um, infantry are barely useful against tri vampires. They only last about a few seconds, like one or two seconds. and. Tri vampires can kill infantry three at a time with its skill. But if we do need infantry, we are we could use this side. So they are they actually have dual purpose. Alright, so that's it for our strategy. Now let's start preparing the first towers. So we will do we will slowly upgrade to this formation later. We shall focus on the first wave formation first. Okay, let's start the game. I'm just gonna move flag here so I could do a cheap shot early in the game. So that's what I'm doing with flag. I'm trying to steal some kills from the towers just so I could gain that extra energy. That's it. The goal here is to build as much energy as quick as we can. There you go. Someone the next wave now. So I'm gonna put some more infantry here as well. And there's gonna be a some menders falling from here. So what I'm gonna do now here on the left side is basically I'm going to slowly upgrade my infantry here 
just so we can stall the armites longer. So if you, if your infantry's health runs low or they're, they've just died, once you upgrade them, it will grant them instant respawn or in, instant health replenishment. There you go. Wave now. Right, so we need to start preparing for the tribe vampires that are coming from this side. I put flag here now. So I've got enough lasers to stop the vampires from that side. I, I had to distract them as much as I can. That's it, I'll call the next wave now, we are ready. We did a pretty good job there. So now that we're in level 4, it's a lot easier, we have enough strong towers. So we need to just keep upgrading our towers now. So this side we need to have an area damage tower. This is how you can soften up the tri vampires because they're going to start coming out in the left side here as well. You upgrade your vanguards to EMP grenades to deactivate their shields. Then we're going to use caustic cloud. And we're going to use burn damage here. That's it. Stick clouds here again. And I think we got it in the bag. So that's a perfect score and a perfect strategy using flak. So what do you guys think? I finally got the grand reward. Um, basically I collected all of the um, golden rewards so I just got um, the cash which is a hundred the gems um, 20 troops and 10 fusion cells all right so not bad eh so what do you think of the game um, did you like it if, if you did please hit the like button um, share it to any gamers that you know that are struggling with this map and also um, if you want to say something or give me a feedback you can write it down in the comment section um, subscribe if you like uh, lastly um, check the description area as I will post there the strategy for the game and I will also um, post some links there for my other flag missions on insane mode um, my other alien peeps um, event I will uh, also post my other on the men um, missions there or run through with other hero combinations just in case you have other heroes that you want to try uh, and you want to see a simulation I have uh, games posted there as well and um, yeah that's it I hope you enjoyed this game I, I hope I was able to help you and that's it you guys have a good day I'm now signing off <laughs>